This is essentially a program that I put together to address the critical shortage of male behavioral health professionals that we have in New Jersey. So as our industry is dominated by women, unfortunately, more of our male youth today are getting in trouble more than our female youth. And so what happens is that our male youth get staffed with female mental health workers. So the problem is it's hard for our male youth to relate because most of the time, you're working with children and families that are underserved. And so there's this huge disconnect that is not often talked about. So behavioral health career training and recruitment solves this problem by bringing awareness to the industry that this is a career that men can partake in because a lot of the times men also believe that social work is a career for women. So I realized that there was nothing being done about this and I wanted to create something that was a solution because what we also found was that male behavioral health professionals that were coming into the industry, they were leaving because there was no quality training in place for them. So the system that we have to provide education and training is second to none. And I think that's how we're solving the problem today. So the benefits of this career are tremendous. The first one is flexibility. We're working with the families and scheduling appointments, not only when you're available, but also when the family's available. And so you have that flexibility. You could go on vacation as much as you want and still take a case while you're on vacation. As long as you have your phone and you have Wi-Fi, you can conduct sessions. Number two, you have the opportunity to grow. When you come in, you're already going to be making more money than you made in your job, but you don't have to stay there. This industry is also pandemic proof because 2020, when the pandemic hit at its peak, the world was shut down. We were still working. Okay. We were able to use Zoom and all types of technology to keep in touch with our youth and our families. If you look at what's happening in the news across this country, you rarely hear that they involve young girls. You typically hear these viral incidents involving male youth. So we go back to the word relatable. If a child cannot see themselves in your shoes, it makes it a little bit more difficult for them to get motivated, to get inspired. But if they can see themselves in your shoes, it makes it a little bit easier for them to see that. So bringing more mental health professionals that are male into the industry is just astronomically important. And that's why I created Behavioral Health Career Training and Recruitment.